The fight for control between warlords hatches and Lang closes in triumph for Lang, who celebrates. A day of freedom consistently to pay tribute to this lid supporters are all openly executed. Also, those less lucky are shipped off to military jails the detainment facilities to which the detainees are. Sent are more similar to the difficult work the men work in the quarry, and every one of them has an iron cover over his. A mouth that permits just fluid food talking no eating no breathing with her mouth in the middle. Of the quarry, there is a Goliath meat processor wherein fastens are lashed to the legs of. The detainees one day the processor stops and the superintendent orders Kai to fix it another detainee is. Brought to the quarry and keeping in mind that every one of the gatekeepers is occupied one of the detainees' attempts to begin an uproar. Yet, one more fires up the smasher, and the chain pulls the radical in the novice glances around and motioning toward the expert rifleman he also starts a mob the superintendent fires up the meat processor again this time. Setting up a mode that ought to draw out every one of the detainees to save himself and his companions' lives. Kai attempts to cripple the program however the chain by the leg maneuvers him into the grindstone getting a automatic rifle the person attempts to fire the chain off and when he bombs Kai disposes of the shackles. Alongside his leg, Kai awakens and brings forth house and finds he's wearing a prosthetic leg the Warlord eliminates Kai's veil and lets him know that he has been battling Lang's penitentiaries for quite a long time. What's more, presently he wants the ex-convict's assistance he should penetrate the boat and get data later. Which trapdoor guarantees the fellow to take him from that point so they can go together to New Holland and save Kai's dad whom Lang plans to execute upon the arrival of his delivery once on the boat Kai taps. Into the PC and trapdoor utilizes his earpiece to tell him precisely what he wants whereupon he inquires. The person to send in the data without sitting tight for him to return The environment ends up being poisonous Kai attempts to get data from the locally available PC yet the The program requires approval and the main thing it cautions him about is that the oxygen The level is dropping quickly Oleander, the authority of the principal transport contacts the survivors he inquires Everybody to accumulate at the accident site Kai moves back from the bus and attempts to contact the hatch the pilot sees Oleander's body and a container from which a little kid is getting out the person. Gives Taryn his veil and conveys the young lady to the van not seeing the dead man being hauled. Under the stones by an animal after waking up the young lady surmises that the person was on. The boat unlawfully the young fellows go looking for the destruction and Taran sees that the fallen. Metal is oxidizing quickly which implies that the harmful climate will ultimately erode human. Skin through his extension Kai sees a boat and close to it he sees a sparkling pole with electric shocks. Going through it Taran surmises that Kai seals hired fighter and she vows to get him. A fair preliminary guaranteeing the kid that he is botched discussing the warlord yet the kid declines to. Fly with the military to Earth to abstain from returning to jail in the wake of giving the young lady her weapon Kai leaves. Kai attempts to take off yet Reef's PC advises him that he has no power than the pilot attempts. To figure out true data about SEAL and he just figures out how to watch a recording of the old. Man's cross-examination wherein he concedes his violations against Lang and his longing for a more rough. Jail Kai finds Taran and says he'll attempt to take off however they need to hustle the break unit's leave. 
The planet in no time flat on Tarun's recommendation Kai removes his garments so the group individuals will not. Understand he's a saboteur however it doesn't help the pair don't make it in time and the cases ascend into. The sky while Taran cares for them Kyle winds up in the grip of an obscure animal. Which hauls him under the stones the young lady shows up on the bus and eliminates her head protector planning to. Not off because of the absence of oxygen however, the PC. Air poisonousness Kai remembers nothing however he owns up to feeling vastly improved the young lady concedes that there are no more departure cases except that she has found somebody who can lift the bus the pair. Show up at the sparkling stone which ends up being a slender shell around Oleander's body the leader. Doesn't recapture cognizance and Kai's Kansas retinas with a gadget so they can remove the Motor turns over and the person is going to take off without Oleander however Taryn reminds her to mate that. They used to know one another when she was a kid Kai served her dad and he could never leave. A companion to bite the dust Oleander wakes up and begins chattering about a hatch and a heart to be. Obliterated Kai attempts to stop the administrator however, falls flat and he shoots Taryn in the protective cap hitting. The pilot himself Kai blacks out and awakens in the desert unclothed and injured he finds Terence's skeleton at the scene reef lets the kid know that he's been away for 34. Days in the van motor is worn out which implies the kid may not get some margin for. Upon the arrival of the delivery to save his dad from getting the garbage across the desert Kai attempts to fix the Motor one night he awakens to abnormal commotions and something peculiar beginnings happening to him.